Hi, my name is Abel, Principal Cloud Advocate specializing in DevOps. And today, I have Alex. Hi, uh, my name is Alex Frankel. I'm a PM on the Azure Deployments team. Very cool. So today, you're going to show me a whole bunch of neat ARM stuff you guys have, right? Yeah, exactly. So we have recently sort of uh, reinvigorated our investment in ARM templates and ARM template deployments. Mm -hmm. um, and the first thing I want to talk to you about today is this new feature, new capability we have for ARM called What If. Okay. Um, so the one of the big problems with deploying ARM templates is you have to deploy them to find out what is actually going to happen, right? right. Um, and so testing them becomes this really painful kind of loop that can take 30 minutes until you find out that your VM was configured wrong or your Kubernetes cluster had the wrong setting, right? Right, right. Um, and so that can be super painful and you kind of walk away from your computer, you don't want to touch it. <laughs> um, and so... With what if we're able to actually predict the deployment before you do it and say, here's the resources that we're going to create, mm -hmm. here's what's going to be modified, we'll validate everything to make sure it's actually going to de deploy before you deploy it. Cool. Yeah. Why don't you show me what this looks like? I will absolutely do that. Cool. Um, so I have a really basic ARM template here. And so it's going to deploy uh, VNet. And we're at, the VNet actually already exists. So we're going to make some changes to it and find out what what if is going to tell us. OK. Um, so I have some tags here. I have an owner of foo. Let's change it to bar. Uh, I have an address prefix of a slash 16. I'm going to change it to a slash 15. Okay. And then I have a subnet here. I have two subnets here. I'm going to delete one of them, and I'm going to delete it by actually just commenting it out. Okay. Um, and so ARM will see, OK, I had two subnets, but you only want one subnet now, and it will make the necessary changes. So let me save this. And then I'll kick this off. So I have a command look called what if. Mm -hmm. I say all the normal parameters that I give to any template. So what scope I want to deploy it to, and then the file that I want to deploy. So I'll kick it off and kind of talk about what's happening here. So we're doing two things when we, you kick off what if. One is we're going to project what you actually want to create in the ARM template. So we're, we'll resolve the functions, we'll resolve the variables and the parameters, all those things to kind of compile the template. And then we'll get the latest status from Azure on what those resources actually look like right now. So there's no state files or anything like that to manage. Mm -hmm. We just pull directly from the Azure API. Cool. And then we do a little bit of noise reduction to get rid of any like false positives. And then we present the diff to you in a pretty, I think, clean format, uh, color coded so you can understand what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're looking at now. Okay. So I can see that I have a legend up top here that says what's delete, create, modify, ignore. Got it. Uh, I have the resource that's going to change, which is this VNet. Mm -hmm. And then I have what's actually going to be changed within it. So I have the address prefix transitioning from 16 to 15. Mm -hmm. I have the subnet that's being removed. So the orange color tells me that it's going to be deleted. Nice. And then I have the owner tag tr transitioning from foo to bar. I also have here, what if understands that, hey, there's other resources here that I'm just not going to modify, but I'm going to mm -hmm. let you know that I know about them. Mm -hmm. If I deployed this in complete mode, which is another way of deploying your ARM templates, these would actually come back and say, these resources are going to be deleted um, because that's how complete mode works. So right. we're just trying to give you as much information up front so you can actually do, so I do now a lot of iterations of my ARM templates purely mm -hmm. in what if. So I'll make changes, I'll do what if, I'll make changes, I'll do what if. So what was pre Previously, a 30-minute dev test loop, I yeah. can get down to a 30-second dev test loop. Man, yeah. that is so incredibly cool. And yeah. You're totally right. My biggest frustrations with ARM is that in order for me to test it, I actually have to deploy this. Right, right. Thank you so much for showing us this. I know I cannot wait to start using this the next time I build out an ARM template. Awesome. Thank you. Cool.